Are your kids bored and driving you crazy during this quarantine? Would you like to find a productive way to keep your kids busy during the home isolation and empower your child with financial skills that are going to last them a lifetime? If so, then stick around because today I'm going to give you five financial literacy activities that you can do at home with your child during quarantine. For a lot of us, having our kids home with us during quarantine has made it a little bit interesting, especially if you also have to work from home at the same time. And it would be so easy to just let our kids play on a video game system, which would be fine for a couple of days. But I have a suspicion this quarantine is going to last a lot longer than that in order to keep us all safe. And it's it just is what it is and we need to make the most out of it. I know a lot of you are going through some really tough times right now and my heart goes out to you and I'm sending you all the love. And if there's anything I can do to help you, please get in touch with me, leave me a message and I'll see what I can do to help you. Today I wanna to give you five activities to get your kids productive during this time at home because of the COVID-19 virus. I truly understand the severity of this pandemic and how important it is to keep our kids safe, to keep ourselves safe, happy, and to keep self-isolated, keep that social distancing. But that's the beautiful thing about the internet is we can still connect with one another. We are so very blessed because of that. I want to help you to empower your kids with money smarts while they're at home. I want to help you keep your child productive. So the first activity that we want to do with our children is to get them motivated and excited to want to learn about money, you know, to get them off of those games on the computer and get them doing something that's going to help empower their life. And so we're going to do that through setting goals. So what you're going to do is sit your child down and get them to brainstorm all the things that they want to do once this self-isolation is over. What are they looking forward to? Give them something to look forward to. I actually go into more detail about this in my um, goal setting video over here when I show you how to make a vision board. It's a great activity to do with your child during this time. Keep them busy, keep them out of your hair, and keep them productive and empowered. I also put together a special goal setting for families workbook for you which you can see right here. And I'll put a link in the description below where you can download that so that you have a guideline on how to set goals and how to use my goalometer, which I talk about in this video here, to really understand which goals are most important to get your child excited to want to actually achieve those goals. There are so many things we can still do at home and so many things we can learn that will help us once we are allowed back out in the world again. The next activity that you can do with your child is to create an allowance chore chart. Now, I'm not normally a huge fan of allowances, but we always need to be flexible and go with the times. And right now, it could be a little bit harder for your child to find ways to earn their own money outside the home. And so we want to find ways that they can earn money inside the home. And this first way is to work on the idea of allowances. If you're working at home as well and trying to take care of your children at the same time, you're probably feeling a little overwhelmed. And depending on your child's age, you could actually set up an allowance chore chart and give them specific tasks to do in the home to work as a family and they could build credits, they could earn money depending on what your situation is, something that's going to reward them for helping you as a family unit. You can learn more about allowances, the benefits of them and the negatives of them in this video over here and I hope that will really help you sort that one out. And I've put together a special book for you, the parent, Allowance Secrets to Give or Not to Give to really help you understand what benefits, what negative connotations are gonna work for your family. What are the pros, what are the cons to giving an allowance as it relates to you and your budget. And that is why I put that book together for you so that you could feel confident about whether or not to give an allowance. The third activity that you can do at home with your child during this pandemic is to set up the six magical piggy bank system, which you can see in this video over here. I'll go greatly into detail for you, but just to give you a quick recap right now, six piggy banks. So you're going to get six piggy banks or six clear jars is actually what I highly recommend. And I talk more about that in this video over here. And you're going to have a piggy bank for grow. That's the money that your children are saving up to work hard for them. So your money for investing. 
And then you're going to have your give jar, the money for helping others, which also helps build your child's self-worth knowing that there is an abundance in our world. And then the third jar is going to be their learn jar. This is money saved for continued learning. So exactly like right now, if your child is like is home and they've been saving up for learning, they could buy online courses and study something they love. All right, so that's what the Learn Jar is for, for post-secondary education, for self-education, which is becoming more and more important and more empowering to us right now. The fourth jar is the Rain Jar. That's the money that they're going to save up for that rainy day, for when life hits them hard. Think about it. How much more comfortable would you feel right now during this time had you been saving up a rainy day fund all these years, right? It would take so much pressure off. And if you haven't had the opportunity to do that, or maybe life hit you really hard and you weren't able to do that, doesn't mean that it's not a good time to get started. So we want to teach our children to get started saving for a rainy day, because as we know, life happens and we need to be prepared for that. And then there are two fun jars that your kids are going to absolutely love really fun piggy banks. And the first one is the goal jar. And that is to save up specifically for a particular goal. So during this pandemic, if your child is saving up because once we are all allowed out and to reconnect again, they might want to save up for a special trip, or maybe they want to save up to go to the store and buy something to actually get out. So I realize it's hard for our children to have to understand that it's really important we stay at home right now. So we can offset that by having them dream and dream about the things that they can do and the money that goes in their goal jar will help them achieve those dreams once it becomes available to them and the last jar is of course the most fun and it is called fun it's the fun jar and it's the money for spending right away and again right now it's a little bit interesting but we can spend money online maybe it's to download a game so they can play on their computers maybe it's to add a special treat to your groceries that you pick up and sanitize when you bring home. But something that they can then just use right away, which will give that feeling of immediate gratification, which ironically works really well to encourage delayed gratification if you take control of it. I talk more about exactly how to make that work for you in this video over here, so make sure you check that out, the Six Magical Picky Banks video. And I even put together a cartoon for your child as well, which you can see right here. The fourth way to really increase your child's financial literacy during this quarantine is to brainstorm ideas of ways that they can make their own money from home. What are your child's interests? What are their passions? You can actually watch this video over here where I show you how my daughter earns passive income from rainbows. It's really cool and your child could do this too. So definitely check that one out. Plus, I've got a book for you. It's 50 money-making ideas for kids and teens. And more importantly, at the very end of the book, I've got a, a seven additional passive income ideas for your child that they could start working on at home right now to help earn money for themselves without having to go out into the world physically. So the fifth activity for you to do is to download all of the free tools that I have for you the Allowance Secrets book, the Family Goal Setting book, the 50 Money Making Ideas for Kids and Teens book, the Six Magical Piggy Banks cartoon, and the video for you, the parent teaching you how to do them, and the vision board, moving vision board videos that I've got for you as well. So I've got a link in the description below to help you with that. Plus, I have a course, and it's Teaching Children About Money. It's a 12-month course. But because of what's happening right now, it normally sells for $1,200. But right now, for 30 days, I want to give it to you for $1. And you can have access to all of the 12 modules. I'll put that information in the description below as well. Why am I doing this? Because I know you're at home and you want to empower your child while they're out of school. And I know that right now is a really tough crunch time financially and your budget is probably stretched to the limit and I didn't want to make you have to find a way to add one more thing to your bucket so I wanted to give you something and honestly if you are struggling financially right now and one dollar is too difficult 
just connect with me and I'll see how I can get it to you for free as well. I just, I want to help you empower your child while you have this opportunity of having them home with you. So make sure you do check out that description below and grab your seven free gifts and take a look at the course. I've put some videos down there to show you exactly what you're getting when you open it up. I'm so happy that you were here with me today. You can go over here to watch the videos that I talked about in this video today to help you grab your seven free tools and take a look at the $1 offer. I really hope it helps you. And if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, then please share it with a friend. Make sure you click subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll know the minute my next video comes out to help you raise money smart kids at home during a pandemic.